students miss kulkarni here so in this video we are going to learn about percentage composition in chemistry and i want you to remind that this is different than what we do normally we are not going to find out simply the number of atoms and find out the percentage what we are going to find out is the mass for the element so always when you use the word percentage in chemistry it's percentage by mass unless otherwise it's specified okay now there are some simple easy steps when you do the calculations number 1 we need to get the correct formula for the compound then we calculate the molar mass for the compound and next after that it's a division so if you know the element for which we are finding the percentage by mass you take the total mass of that element and divide it by the total mass of entire compound or which we call as molar mass of the compound now let's actually begin and take one example so in this question we have to find out the complete percentage composition by mass for potassium carbonate when it says complete that means we need to find out the percentage composition for every single element in that compound so you know very well the formula is potassium carbonate formula is k2co3 in this potassium carbonate we have three different elements potassium carbon and oxygen and for each of those the number of atoms will be 2 1 and 3 and simply you are going to find out the total mass due to element by multiplying the number of atoms by the atomic mass and how do you get the atomic mass from of course the periodic table so potassium i got 39.10 carbon is 12.01 and for oxygen when we round up it's 16.00 when we multiply each one of that i'm getting 78.2 12.01 and 48.00 all right when we add all of those we get 138.21 and this is what we call as the molar mass Okay. Now we are going to find out the percent composition for each of the element. And I'm just giving you one simple formula: percent of say potassium. If you need to find out that, it should be the total mass for K or potassium divided by it will be the mass total mass or molar mass for the compound, and then that times hundred. so we keep on working on each element in the same manner so let's do that calculation here this is percent potassium and the total mass due to potassium is 78.2 divided by the molar mass for potassium carbonate which is 138.21 and that times 100 and when we simplify what we get is 56.58% so that's our potassium let's do the next one percent carbon and that will be the total mass which we have because of carbon which is 12.01 divided by again the molar mass which is 138.21 and that times 100 and that is 8.69% of carbon we got it's getting simple right the next is percent oxygen and the total mass is 48.00 divide that by molar mass 138.21 and that times 100 so what we got was 
4.73% and that's for oxygen. Now here is one clue I'm going to give you. If you add all these three things, your total should come close to 100. It may not be exactly 100, but it should come close to 100. That is one way to prove that you got the correct answer. Alright, so this is another problem in which we need to find out percent for only oxygen and the compound is barium chlorate hexahydrate. So here is the formula for barium chlorate BaClO3 and we need two of those and 6H2O. Okay, the very first thing is we need to find out the molar mass for this compound and I'm going to tell you an easy method. Split that 6H2O separate because you can write down that as 6 times the molar mass for H2O. And H2O water molar mass is 18.02. So you can separately get that answer for due to water and which I'm getting here as 108.12. And now you need to find out the molar mass due to barium chlorine. So let's find out how many atoms of each element we have. We got one barium. Remember, there is times two. So two chlorine and we got three times two. Six oxygen. Oops. And then the atomic mass for each of those are 137.33. This is 35.45. And this is 16.00. And when you multiply and when you add all of those, what you get is total molar mass due to barium chlorate which I am getting as 304.23. Now remember, the total molar mass for the compound is adding these two together. This and this together. Which will be that plus 108.12 giving me the final answer 412.35. Okay, now we need to find out percent of oxygen. And that will be total mass of oxygen divided by the molar mass. The molar mass is 412.35. Now, how many total atoms of oxygen we have? We got atoms from here. These are 3 times 2. So we got 6 atoms from here. And we also got atoms of oxygen from water. And those are 6 more atoms. So we end up having 12 atoms of oxygen. So the total mass of oxygen will be 12 atoms times the atomic mass of each oxygen atom which will be 16. So that's what we got and times 100. And when we solve that, you should get the answer as 46.56%. I'll see you next video. Bye. I'll see you next video. Bye.